These endangered blue whales feed off the San Diego coast every summer, but that can create a big problem for Navy ships. And that's why the Navy is starting a new study to find out where the whales are and where they go. New at 10 News at 6, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence with how it might mean fewer collisions. Just off San Clemente Island is the Navy's premier live fire training range. <laughs> where fire control and sonar techs hone their skills. But the Channel Islands are also home to migrating whales. And where the blue whale is concerned, the largest mammal on Earth... There is evidence, at least in Southern California, of some real changes. In a study now underway, as seen in this photo, mates at Oregon State University researchers are seeing fewer blue whales than they did 10 years ago. The study is funded by the Navy. You know, where do they go the most? And can you tell if is it the same every year? Or is there changes from the 1990s to, say, the 2010s? To date, 21 whales have been tagged and as seen in this video, which is data from a previous study, the movement of a single whale is all over the map. But if you can chart where they are, you can reduce the likelihood of an encounter. Last March, a whale watching boat in Orange County snapped photos of a Navy ship that didn't see the whales in the area until warned on the radio. The blue and fin whale study is one of four to five different studies now being funded by the Navy going on right now in California waters in 2014. One of those studies involves the impact of sonar, something the Navy insists it has to use in order to train, but which environmentalists claim harms marine mammals. As for the research project on blue and fin whales. I applaud them actually, you know, to, to be full, proactive and go out and find more out about what's going on in that region. That research will run through September. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. And researchers hope to have preliminary results from the study by 2015.